Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to uh, cover the behind-the-scene process when you are using uh, transformers uh, within the Hugging Face uh, model hub. So, um, if you are familiar with all these things uh, um, about the generative AI, I'm sure you are familiar with one of the most popular model hub uh, model provider, which is the Hugging Face. And then, uh, usually the way that uh, people access the model within the Hugging Face is just through whether through the API or even or whether through the transforming library in the Python code. So what you usually do is to just um, you use this from transformers import pipeline, so that you you use this statement to just import all those packages that you need to ha have in order to access to different. Uh, a large language model within your code. So the aim of this video is to go through more detail of this pipeline. So the thing is, uh, what you usually do when you import this pipeline, you are trying to just whether provide a prompt or an input text, and then use that pipeline to just get some output. But then within that pipeline, there are like a number of different components that you should be familiar if you wanna in the future use that model or even like fine-tune that model for your own domain or task so the thing is there are like three main components within that uh, pipeline so we got this pre-processing stage which uh, it's gonna just be applied to the input text so things like uh, token tokenization um, doing some initial text cleaning and all those things will happen in here then you will have your full uh, neural network or um, your your deep learning model with all those self attention layers and then at the last uh, but not least you will have some post processing that be on the output of the model you will do some post processing in order to generate the output to the user so for each individual component for the pre processing as i mentioned before it's just more around the tokenization you will have like embedding layer which we'll use to just uh, do some initial cleaning and also tokenize the input text and change it to the uh, some vectors. And then those vectors will be pushed to the model, go through a number of different uh, layers and are manipulated by those layers uh, to generate the output. And then one things that you need to be familiar, we got this concept of hidden states here, which is the last uh, layer of your um, 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 your uh, neural network here which actually will be pushed to the head uh, component here uh, which um, when we go to the example code that we have you will be mm, uh, you will understand these two uh, key component uh, very well so the thing is um, um, as I mentioned um, so if you wanted to use models fine-tune the model and do any sort of uh, um, adaptation you need to be fam familiar with all these key components uh, of the uh, model within the hugging face um, and in the next part through a code we're gonna just go through how you can access all these different components uh, within your uh, models so that then you can use those components and um, just be familiar so that uh, in the future if you want to fine-tune any model you can just do it more in a more effective way. Let's jump to the code and see how you can just uh, get access to all these different components. All right, so now let's quickly go through the sample code in order to better understand those key uh, topics that we discussed in previous part. So as I mentioned, if you want access to those uh, pre-trained model from the Hugging Face, you need to use this uh, package in Python, transformer package. So here we just import these um, uh, key uh, objects that we need, especially the pipeline, which is the main object that we usually use in order to access to different components of a pre-trained model. So here, what we do, so checkpoint is uh, just it's it's actually the name of the model. So if you go to the Hugging Face model uh, hub, you can just for each individual model, there's a like a specific naming and label so that you can use it as a checkpoint. 
So now if you want access to the tokenizer part or element of the model or the whole pipeline, you can easily just say auto tokenizer dot from pre underscore pretrain and just providing the input naming and then you can easily access to that tokenizer part. If you want to access to the base model, you can easily just say auto model dot from underscore pretrain and then you can access that. Uh, so let's say we wanted to use this specific model uh, and do some uh, sentiment analysis. So for these two sentences, we wanted to see what is the sentiment for each of those. So um, well, the first things that we need to do is to just uh, tokenize that, right? Uh, it's just the import. So we just put put the um, use the tokenizer of that specific model and just uh, generate the tokenization. And then um, if you want to get the output, we can easily just say model uh, um, and then we can provide input as the argument here. But one thing that we need to know, this auto model is just you have access to the uh, base of the model. You don't have access to that head component that we discussed in previous part. If you want to access to those, uh, let's say, to a, like a specific architecture of the pre-trained model that can help you to just do the classification, uh, one, one thing that you need to know that there are a number of different uh, architecture available within the pre-trained model. Uh, you have uh, for multiple choice, uh, for question answering, for sequence classification, for token classification, and more. So these are like different uh, architectures, which is that that head element that you can just use in order to generate the like output, which is uh, um, can address your specific need. So for our example, if you want to do the sentiment analysis, it's just more like a kind of sequence classification. So what we need to do is to just say instead of just say auto model dot from pre underscore pre train we just say auto model for sequence classification and then now whatever that we get from the output it's just going to be some things uh, that can help you to just do the sentiment analysis and classification for this specific case we, we're going to have a uh, uh, output with the length of two and then one thing that you need to know here we have whatever output that we get is the it's not a probability. So usually, if you are familiar with the deep learning uh, models, usually at the 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 last layer, you you get some output as a probability, and you will use that probability in order to do any sort of classification. So one things that you need to do, like like a typical classification neural network, uh, you just use the softmax layer, and then you provide that output to that softmax layer, and then that that's gonna give you like the probability that you need in order to just do the uh, classification and also if you're not sure about the the label of those classes that you have within the output you can just easily use this model dot config dot ID to label and then access to the label so if you run that let's here you can easily just see the mapping for the label zero is negative and then one is positive which is the sentiment so then you can easily get those uh, prediction like here that we get and then for the first sentence because you see the probability of the second uh, uh, element is higher so which means the first sec sentence is positive and then the second sentence the probability of the first element is higher which means that the for the second sentence the sentiment is negative so this is just an example that can help you better understand how you can just deal with these different component of the pre-trained model within the hugging face. Uh, so these, these understanding can help you in the future if you want to use any of those model, if you want to fine-tune any of those model so that you can easily and effectively uh, achieve your task. So in the future we're going to discuss more about those uh, activities and make sure to subscribe to the channel so they can you, um, have those latest videos and then learn how you can just use this uh, different pre-trained model within the hugging face model hub. Thank you.